Hey guys, Joey here with AwesomeCameras.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a long exposure using a Polaroid Lane camera. It's pretty easy. It works with any of these uh, fold-out type Lane cameras. All you really need to know is this. This little guy on the front of your camera is the light meter. So this is going to tell the camera how long to expose the photo for. So what you have to do to keep that open, if we cock it here, is cover this and it'll think it's uh, not being exposed and just hold the shutter down and you can see it stays open and it will stay open as long as I have my finger over the hole here. So if you let go, it shuts. Now obviously you're going to need to steady the camera somehow. Uh, some of them have a tripod mount, this one doesn't. Uh, and some of the pictures I'll show you that I took out in Las Vegas this week. Uh, a couple of my had it. I was in my hotel room and I just pressed it up against my window of my room so the camera would stay steady and I kind of found a point where it wouldn't wobble around and I was able to slip a piece of paper uh, in front of the sensor here uh, while I held the shutter down to take the picture. And there's some other ones I took outside where I just found a, a platform to rest the camera on and then I found a good resting point where it's not going to wobble around as well. So here's some of the photos I got. This one is shot as metered. So I didn't cover the light meter up for this one just so you can tell the difference. So that one's shot as metered. And then the second one I shot uh, I left the shutter open for 10 seconds. It's not completely accurate. I just counted to 10 slowly um, at about the same rate for all these. So Not exactly 10 seconds, but right around there. So that's 10 seconds. And then I tried holding it open for 20 seconds. And 20 seconds, they look a little blown out. So most of the exposures I did were around 12 to 15 seconds. That's those. Here's another angle. This is one I when I was out on the street. So this is a shot as metered uh, without the light meter covered. And then here, this one I held it open for 12 seconds. So you can see quite the difference. All the colors really pop on that at 12 seconds. So and actually, this one I held down a little longer. That was 20 seconds right there with the reflection at the Bellagio. And here's a picture of the Bellagio. This one was 15 seconds. The lights aren't as bright on this one, so it's a little darker than the ones with all the neon lights. This one I held open quite a bit longer, 25 seconds, but you can see the lights are a little more blurred out. Uh, they're not as defined here. And the last one is this one, 15 seconds. And I think this is probably my favorite one of my long exposures. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the subscribe button. Because I got plans to make a whole bunch more videos like this. Do you know how many cats get famous on YouTube?